Welcome to day two of the splits challenge. We're going to start today off with some heels to bums. Nice fast pace, get the blood flowing, a little bit of activation in the hamstrings and some stretching of the quads. Next is going to be a seated knee extension. As you can see, I've got a little chair ready. I'm going to bring that forward, sit down on the chair, keeping your back straight, doing one leg at a time, fully extended one leg at a slow pace while keeping your toes pointed towards your face and return. once again just the other leg reminder keeping that back straight looking forward try not to swing your leg out create a slow controlled movement is going to be side lunges both legs one at a time keeping your back straight trying to keep all your weight over your heels not your toes lunging out to a 90 degree and lunging back in Next is going to be a calf raise. This one's a little different. You want your toes pointing outwards, so it's played foot. You're going to press up, full extension, hold briefly, return. Thank you. 
is a single leg swing. I'd recommend using a chair or a wall to help balance yourself in this. You're going to stand on one leg while the other is swinging left and right, activating your abductors and the adductors as well as stretching them. now to perform it on the other leg remember to keep your back straight hips level and try to swing your leg in a controlled manner activating the muscles not using momentum is a quad stretch nice and easy you're going to use a chair to help balance yourself or I would recommend anyway holding your ankle bring it up to your bum keeping your legs straight and your chest upright this should stretch out your quad and your hip flexors same stretch again but this time on the other leg point is to remember is keeping your leg straight in line with your body chest upright and keep that heel as close to your bum as possible creating that stretch in your quads and hip flexors And next we're moving on to a static hamstring stretch. This one we're gonna have wide legs. This will stretch your hamstrings as well as your abductors. All you're gonna do is keep your feet wide, keeping your back straight, hinging at your hips, trying to keep your legs straight to promote a nice stretch.
onto another type of hamstring stretch. This one is going to be a straight hip hinge, so feet closer together. Concentrate on keeping your legs straight and just hinging at the hip, keeping that back straight, making a nice right angle. This one slightly more complex movement we're going to be open our legs wide to stretch our hamstrings but we're going to cross body toe touch so we're twisting our body with the opposite arm to touch the toes try to keep your legs straight through this movement activating your core throughout This time we are going to be performing a downward facing dog. So to get into position you want to be on all fours, keeping the heels planted to the floor, your legs straight, aiming to hinge at the hip and keep your back straight. something a little bit more simpler a kneeling lunge so you're balancing on one knee and one foot the foot should be at a right angle to the knee keeping the weight over it lunging forward creating a stretch in your quads and your hip flexors
getting ready to perform the kneel and lunge stretch on the opposite leg again. All you've got to remember is to keep your back straight, lunging forward, keeping your weight over your other foot and get those glutes flexed to create a better stretch. And with this countdown marks the end of day two. Well done. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content and stay tuned for more challenges. Good luck.